You might be surprised to learn that silicon can store lithium 24 times better than graphite, which is why Tesla added silicon particles to its anodes to dramatically increase range performance by 20% with fast charging capabilities and a range that can last for millions of miles. Building on this proven track record, a new generation of battery technology uses all silicon anodes made entirely of silicon nanowires, promising absolute sustainability and safety. So, how Tesla's future battery technology will shock the entire electric vehicle market. Let dive in this today episode. What innovations have been made in nanowire silicon anode batteries? When researchers first began exploring silicon as a positive electrode for lithium batteries, Tesla also enhanced lithium retention at the positive electrode by adding a small amount of about 5% silicon. This factor has helped Tesla significantly reduce the production cost for each battery cell containing silicon at the positive electrode to $1.20 per kilowatt hour. Surpassing the capabilities of current batteries used in electric vehicles, the high-performance battery developed by Amprius, a company specializing in revolutionary silicon anode batteries, boasts double the energy density of the 4680 cell, achieving 500 watt-hour per kilogram compared to 450 watt-hours per kilogram in the older silicon anode version. This game-changing factor could extend the range of the Tesla Model 3 to about 400 miles. With a single silicon atom, it can store four lithium ions, meaning that silicon anodes are 24 times more efficient than conventional lead anodes. It also allows silicon anode batteries to have a capacity of 3,400 mAh per gram, nearly 10 times higher than conventional lithium batteries with lead anodes, which have a capacity of 355 mAh per gram. The motivation behind silicon anode batteries is largely driven by their ability to store more energy than conventional lithium ion batteries of the same weight and volume. However, their increased energy density may also introduce new, distinct risks that could be more dangerous in the event of a failure. Although this technology has been researched and developed by the company for a long time, the issues of silicon swelling during lithium-ion storage have rapidly reduced the lifespan of the batteries. This has driven the manufacturer to explore the development of silicon nanowires. A simple explanation of this technology is that these nanowires are grown within the battery cells at specific distances. As they receive ions transported from the cathode, they increase in size up to a maximum limit. However, they will only grow to a certain size without exceeding permissible limits, similar to how tree canopies expand over time. But the spacing between the trees is determined to prevent the canopies from feeling cramped. Furthermore, this improvement facilitates the transport of ions and electrons over shorter distances, making charging faster compared to traditional graphite anodes, with the manufacturer claiming a fast charging capability of 80% in less than 6 minutes. This is truly a breakthrough in charging, as most of the slowdown in the current electric vehicle trend is due to users' concerns about convenience and speed, similar to filling up a gas tank for internal combustion vehicles in just 1-2 to two minutes. Considering the importance of this not only for electric vehicles but also for all types of energy storage applications, this is indeed a transformative technology. How does the life of a million-mile battery increase four to five times? There are three key materials involved in the development of Tesla's million-mile battery, each playing a crucial role in enhancing its performance, durability, and longevity. The first material is the single crystal cathode. Typically, lithium-ion batteries use polycrystalline cathodes, where hundreds or even thousands of smaller primary crystals form a larger secondary particle. This design leads to significant cycle life issues. When the battery charges and discharges, the primary crystals expand and contract, causing the secondary particles to crack and react with the electrolyte, which ultimately reduces the battery's lifespan. In contrast, the single crystal cathode avoids this problem. Since the individual crystals are not part of a larger structure, they can expand and contract freely without grinding against other crystals, preventing rapid degradation. This breakthrough ensures the battery can handle far more charge cycles and maintain its capacity over a much longer period. The second material is synthetic graphite, which forms the anode. 
graphite is crucial for storing and releasing lithium ions during charge and discharge cycles. While important, graphite doesn't directly contribute to the high cycle life of the million mile battery. So we can focus more on the third material that plays a more significant role in extending battery lifespan. The third material is the electrolyte additives, which are integral to maintaining long battery life. When the battery is first charged, these additives react with the surface of the anode to form a protective layer called the Solid Electrolyte Interphase, SEI. This SEI layer is crucial because it prevents the anode from continuing to react with lithium in the electrolyte, which is essential for maintaining the battery's ability to charge and discharge effectively. Some additives form a more robust SEI layer, significantly improving the protection of the anode and extending the overall lifespan of the battery. These additives are used in very small quantities, around 1% of the electrolyte's weight, but their impact on durability is immense. However, there is an additional consideration. The single crystal cathode material Tesla has adopted is roughly 5% more expensive than the conventional polycrystalline cathodes. That said, with large-scale production, the cost of single crystal cathodes could become nearly equivalent to that of polycrystalline ones. Moreover, Tesla has made further improvements to the cathode and anode structures to optimize performance and reduce the risk of degradation. These new designs have been shown to increase operational efficiency by 10% and reduce failure rates by 50%. The NMC532 chemistry that Don has tested marks another major leap in battery technology. However, it's important to note that cars don't need to last 100 years or drive 4 million miles. In fact, the average lifespan of a car in the U.S. is about 12 years, covering roughly 14,000 miles per year. That's a total of about 168,000 miles over its lifetime. In Europe, that figure is even lower. Therefore, a battery capable of lasting 4 million miles opens up exciting possibilities, such as using electric vehicles as part of the electric grid which would significantly increase the number of cycles the battery could go through. When comparing the NMC532 cells to LifePO4 LFP, the type of lithium-ion battery Tesla currently uses in models like the Model 3, we see a clear trade-off. LFP is valued for its lower cost, safety, and durability. However, its major drawback is lower energy density, typically around 160 watt-hours per kilogram which is much less than the 240 to 290 watt-hours per kilogram energy density of NMC532. This means that while LFP can be a good choice for applications where cost and safety are more critical, it's limited in applications that require higher energy density or performance. Though LFP can endure up to 12,000 charge cycles, it's not difficult to see why NMC532 outperforms it in terms of lifespan. Don's NMC532 cells have shown remarkable performance, losing little to no capacity after nearly 2,000 cycles. Based on extensive testing, Don and his team confidently project that NMC532 cells could last up to 100 years, maintaining how much does a million-mile battery cost. The million-mile battery is currently priced around 140 to $150 per kilowatt hour, while Tesla's 4680 battery costs about $120 per kilowatt hour. This price difference largely stems from the use of cobalt, a relatively expensive material, in the million mile battery. As indicated by the name NCM532, cobalt makes up the smallest portion of the material composition, with 50% nickel, 30% manganese and 20% cobalt. This strategic choice helps keep the battery's cost reasonable while still maintaining a high energy density. The research team has focused on nickel, a more affordable material, without compromising performance. To put it in perspective, cobalt is currently priced at around $30,000 per ton, significantly higher than lithium at about $15,000 per ton, and nickel at around $20,000 per ton. When it comes to durability, the million-mile battery has a clear edge over other battery technologies on the market. The real question is, would you be willing to pay a higher price for a battery that lasts longer, 
saving you the hefty cost of replacing a battery in an electric vehicle over time. Considering the high cost of replacing EV batteries, investing in a longer-lasting, more durable option seems like a wise choice. Moreover, the million-mile battery is more expensive than LFP batteries due to the small but significant amount of cobalt used in its construction. In contrast, phosphorus and iron are abundant elements found all over the Earth. However, Don and Tesla are exploring ways to eliminate cobalt from the million-mile battery, which would drastically reduce costs and reliance on a rare material. If they succeed, the million-mile battery could have the potential to dominate the electric vehicle market. On the other hand, LFP has not proven to be as effective for use in electric vehicles with limited space. Originally designed for grid storage, LFP batteries have lower energy density and are better suited for applications where space and weight are not as critical. However, LFP batteries offer advantages like lower cost, faster charging, and the ability to avoid cobalt reliance, which makes them an appealing option. Tesla and CATL are working to improve LFP batteries, but eliminating cobalt entirely is not yet fully realized. The key to reducing battery costs and making electric vehicles competitive with internal combustion engine vehicles lies in eliminating cobalt. Cobalt accounts for about 20% of a battery's production cost. While cobalt prices have decreased recently, they remain much higher than those of other raw materials. By removing cobalt from the equation, the cost of manufacturing the million-mile battery could fall below $100 per kilowatt hour, an essential price point for making electric vehicles more affordable and truly competitive with traditional ICE cars. So what distinguishes a million-mile battery from a traditional battery? There's one major issue that still confuses many. About 60% of the population doesn't fully understand the concept of the million-mile battery. Some mistakenly think it means you can drive millions of miles on a single charge. In reality, it means the battery can provide sustained energy to power the vehicle for a total of 1 million miles or more before it starts losing its ability to hold a charge. Charging the battery regularly after a few hundred miles is still necessary, but with this new technology, the need for replacing the battery will be far less frequent. To understand the difference in one of the battery technologies Tesla is applying to its current models, you can review the previous videos we have completed here. So, what makes this battery such a game changer? The million mile battery represents a significant leap forward in battery life and energy density. While the basic structure of lithium ion batteries hasn't changed, the real breakthroughs lie in the use of new battery. Chemistries, especially lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide NMC. With a higher nickel content, these cathodes boost the energy density by 30% over traditional lithium ion cathodes, improving both performance and lifespan while also increasing durability by up to five times. The NMC cells were first tested in October 2017, and after years of continuous operation at room temperature, they've demonstrated an incredible performance. Losing only 6% of their energy capacity after six years of constant charge and discharge cycles. This means that after six years, the battery retains 94% of its original capacity, a stark contrast to the rapid degradation seen in conventional batteries. These remarkable results are also achievable at temperatures as high as 40 degrees Celsius, with a 4.8-year continuous cycle. Clearly, the million-mile battery isn't just about long lifespan, it's about heat resistance and long-term durability. Most current electric vehicle batteries, practically all of them are lithium-ion with varying chemistries, typically come with warranties, of 8 to 10 years or about 100,000 miles. During this time, automakers guarantee that the battery will retain at least 70% of its original capacity, meaning the driving range won't drop by more than 30% after 100,000 miles of use. However, with Tesla's million-mile battery, these numbers could be taken to an entirely new level. Thanks for watching our video. If you found the content useful, and want to discover more interesting information about Tesla EV, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to Techno Creator and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos.
We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video.